Hey guys, we just revamped her hair. See how beautiful it's looking. Ooh, see inside. Oh my god, see inside. That's the revamping. Revamping means just taking out two lines on top, redoing it, and making that one cover the rest. Boho is the best style to revamp because not less it doesn't really revamp that good. But boho, oh my god, can't you see how beautiful she looks? Ooh, okay. Now let's start. This is her hair looking all rough, and that's the piece I'm going to take out. So I'm getting them out and I'm going to get a scissors to cut them so that we can take them out and revamp and rebraid. Here we just cut that side and we just cut this other side and around her perimeter too, the front of her hair, her hairline, we took out two lines going into the braid and then we'll take everything out and then rebraid. So that's what we are doing now and we'll take a minute to do that and then we'll wash blow dry and then start the process we just wear a cape for her so that we don't get her beautiful clothes dirty that's an in thing for me in my salon it's really in so we're taking out her hair now here we're done taking it out we've brushed we've washed we've blow dried and we are ready to do the hairstyle so i'm just pulling a comb through the sides of her hair and the middle part and now i'm patting it into two i've already said i took out two lines two or four lines if you want to count it that way two lines on the right two lines on the left so that's four lines in all so i'm making the line sharp that's the middle part and then i'll pat out a line i'll pat out the two lines on the right and the two lines on the left so that we can start braiding normally i'll have the client give me the boho pieces that's the human hair i have them give it to me but to my surprise she brought a what's that thing called that thing on her legs that you arrange the hair on and so that i can be picking them out but i've never used it i rather put my hair that's the extension hair expression on a table where i pick them from and then the client holds the human hair but i don't think she wanted to hold the human hair this time she felt disturbed would you feel disturbed guys that's why she brought her what's the name of this thing please this thing that stands and then they put braids on it i really don't really, mm, i don't use it let me not say i don't like it but she put the boho pieces on it for me to pick up so i will try to use it and i'll let you know if it worked or not because her sister is a braider so she has that in her home so she decided to bring it so that i can try to use it so i've patted out the the last line and then the first line that i'm going to be doing is out so i'll just divide them into pieces the way i'll be working on it so i started on that line and i'm on the other end of that same line I'm showing off the hair and i'm showing off everything and i'm on like the last four pieces of this line so i just keep braiding and now i'm going to do the front her edges that's where i'm going to be braiding now i'm just combing it out so that i can hold it so that it looks good so that everywhere looks good so that the front of her hair when she walks in everywhere looks good her hairline and the middle part so everything just looks fresh and new you wouldn't know that inside is still a little bit rough but because of the boho pieces that makes the hair look full and then it makes the part look disguised that's how come i can make this as in i'm going to be putting a lot of coily pieces because when she came to do her hair initially she insisted on getting a few pieces of boho in that means a few of the coily pieces but now that i'm revamping the hair i cannot do a few pieces anymore i have to put a lot more so that it covers the back so i'll be putting about eight nine ten and three at the base because it's the base that is really the in thing once i pick up the hair i put three immediately and then i give it a bit of space then i put one two three four five to to reach about 10 or 12 so that is beautiful and i'm leaving them i'm not finishing them once i put three on the base i put two more going then i leave the braid for someone else to finish you can see her hands holding a, a strand of hair there so i would leave it for her to finish so that's how we braid in star by lampsy that's how we braid we we are always more than one in a head and you can see my my other clients two of them their legs are showing on the on the mirror while this girl this lady is getting braided
So here I have to constantly be admiring her hair because I have to watch to see if it's actually covered or if it's covering, if the coily pieces are a lot or if they're enough, you know, I have to keep looking and keep knowing. And um, now I'm about to part the last line. The last line, that means the last line on the right and the last line on the left, which means I'm doing two rolls or one roll from one side to another. I'm, I still have one of the rows bounded while I'm patting the other one because I have to have this one bounded so that it doesn't confuse me or it doesn't go into the other side so that the line is actually straight. So I'll be braiding that side. Now I'm braiding this side. I'm patting this side actually, and then very soon I'll be braiding it out. So you see how good looking it looks. And for the first two lines, you can see the parts are so sharp, but for the rest lines under, it's deceitful. You know it's already rough, yeah? So if, if even you can't see what's going on down there because of the lots of hair that I put on the braid, the lots of coily pieces, I put on the braid it still just looks good because you can see the parts on top you get what i mean see this revamping method helps you stretch your money helps you stretch the cost of your braid because you don't have to pay everything you just pay for the top section and then you're out and this is a shorter service because it takes me about less than an hour to finish the top although there are lots of coily pieces but we are two doing it so it takes us less than an hour plus the hot water system and plus the uh, mousse and everything else plus the adding oil adding mist everything took me less than an hour so it's a very beautiful system where you can use your braids again and again where you just refurbish your braids in front and then carry them no not again and again no 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 no. it's only once you can refurbish your style because right now she she did this style a month ago and today is a month and two days that she did it now i've redone the front she can carry it for another one month if she comes back in a month and she tells me to do the same thing again it will now be too much because the back of her hair start breaking you cannot carry your braids still forever you shouldn't do that but well if your stylist agrees to do it for you good for you but a good stylist shouldn't so i wouldn't by the time she does it the second time she needs to take it all out and come back for a fresh style or do something different to her hair you know that's my belief that's what i know because you're looking for trouble if you keep doing this again and again and the back will be so rough that you can't do it again I don't know if you understand what I mean. You know? Hey, I'm almost done and I'm dancing. Ha ha ha. Thank you. 
So here we are done braiding and now we are doing the hot water system where you put the braids in hot water to make them curl at the end so that they look very good. So here I'm trying to separate the hair from um, the ones I didn't do. This is the side I didn't do and I want to tie them properly as I have the one that I just did, the fresh ones, out. Those are the ones I'll be putting in hot water. So I bonded the ones that I don't have to put in hot water and I divided the side that I have to put in hot water. You see how full it is? It's only two lines but it's so full so that I can cover the rest. And pretty much she's using human hair so you can see that the other one still calls, the curls still look good. So here I'm just picking out the extension hair so I can roll it up and put them in hot water so that I can curl and look beautiful. You see she's touching her hair now. I don't like that in stylist. Do you people like it? Do you like it when a client is admiring herself so much that she's touching the hair you did? Ah, uh -uh. put down your hand please madam. I really don't like it. <laughs> it's not a deal breaker for me but it's not something I like. I want you to put your hands down and let me get done. When I'm done you can do what you want to the hairstyle. The mirror is there, the lights are there. Some clients tell me I want to take a picture. I'm like don't take permission. You are here, the light is here, everything is here. The ring light is here, everything is here. You can just go ahead and do what you're doing. And you can see how much the coily pieces that are under are. Ah, jeez. Her hair is going to be very beautiful. So I'm done rolling it up on both sides. Now I'm sticking it into hot water. I have to hold it in for about two minutes so that it really, really curls. So I've done that to the first one and I'm doing it to the second one here. You can see she's touching the hair again. You see she's touching the hair again. She's looking for my trouble. I've taken out the rollers here and um, I'm just trying. You see how much she's touching the hair? It's not done yet. Why are you putting it behind your ear? Won't you wait for me to finish? Ah. Leave the hair for me. When I'm done, you can do whatever you want to do, please. And I kept telling her, not as if I didn't do. I kept telling her. But then she loses herself. You see again. You see again. Ah, babe, we go fight for hair. She quickly took her hand off when she saw me coming. See how neat the top is and how ra Okay, let me not say anything. So I'm going to put it up. You see again. You see again. Ah, madam. Madam, you forget your head is in my care, madam. So she told me she doesn't want oil in her hair that it gives her dandruff. So I left it and I put mousse in, mist in. And she ha <clears throat> you are looking for the trouble now. Now you are looking for the trouble. So I put mist in her hair and it looks beautiful. You see, you can see what's going on under. You can just see the top nothing is going on on that there's nothing going on don't worry wait you see see her again she quickly took her hand off see her again and she's laughing she's laughing at me <laughs> she's laughing i'll give you a minute to do your head with uh -huh. do now thank you